What's up guys, Maestro Megatron here, welcome back to the channel. Uh, now let's talk about, we're back to the Halloween Mask series, another video on that. Let's talk about the Halloween 6 Mask. In my personal opinion, back to the basics. Getting back to the OG looking mask that we didn't get in part 4, that we didn't get in part 5, which everybody complains about those masks, and I've told you my opinion on those. Really didn't bother me as a Halloween fan. Yes, it was false advertisement basically for the mask on 4 and 5 because it actually had the real Shatner looking mask, OG mask from 1978 on the VHS box, on the movie poster, on the DVD box back then, on the Blu-ray box, blah -de blah blah Everybody complained about that. I've already told you my uh, opinions and views on that. But a Halloween 6 mask, the curse of Michael Myers basically got back to the basics. A uh, little fun trivia for you. They were wanting to bring back the Halloween 4 mask for Part 6 after all those years. Um, because uh, Halloween 5's mask had got so much hate. Plus, Don Shanks, who played the shape in Halloween 5, actually kept the Part 5 mask. So, And he was not giving it up. And he was a pretty big dude. So nobody was getting that mask from him. So he kept the mask. They didn't have access to the Part 5 mask anyways. Which nobody wanted it back. Which, like I said in my last previous video of the Halloween 5 mask, why it gets hate. I didn't have a problem with it. I thought it looked pretty mean and vicious. But whatever. So they were going to go back to the Halloween 4 mask, but something happened. Daniel Ferrans, who wrote the screenplay of the movie, and Mustafa Akkad both uh, pumped the brakes on that one, put a stop to it. They're like, ah, hell no, we're not bringing back the Part 4 mask for Halloween 6. It's been six years later since the last Halloween. We're making a fresh start. Let's do this. So they called in John Carl Buechler's special effects team, John Carl Buechler is a special effects artist, and he's also widely known for directing Friday the 13th Part 7, A New Blood, in 1988. So he came up with a couple different concepts of the mask for Part 6, and uh, boom, that's, what the ma that's the mask that we got for Halloween 6, both the producer's cut and the theatrical release. And if you look at the Part 6 mask, it's shaped and molded pretty much... Close enough back to the basics of the original 1978 Shatner mask in Halloween. And big improvement, in my personal opinion. Uh, they did good with that. John Carl Buechler did good on the mold. Uh, it was close enough to what you're going to get. It was way, way closer than Part 4's mask. Way, way closer than Part 5's mask. So everybody was pretty happy about that. I remember back in 95, I went and saw that in the movie theater. I just graduated from high school. And I was like, oh, Great, they got back to the basic, almost close enough mold to the 1978 Shatner mask mold. And I was pretty damn happy about that because we didn't get the part four uh, Pepto Bismol pink mask or the pure white, crappy, shimmering white, creamy white mask they had in part four as well. And you didn't get the mean looking, sculpted, molded. Uh, uh, mask that we got that was molded from uh, the K and B effects group in Part Five. We didn't get that vicious looking mask anymore that just everybody had so much hate for. So John Carl Buechler come up with a great mask for Part Six, uh, which was used both in the producer's cut and the theatrical cut. It was good in the lighting. It was good in the dark atmospheric feel of Halloween Six. Six. Uh, like I said, both in the theatrical cut and the producer's cut. So Halloween 6 is Michael Myers' mask. The mold was pretty much back to the basics of it. Uh, it was scary. It was emotionless looking. He was vicious in that movie. Probably the most vicious kills in the Halloween Thorn trilogy that we have gotten in the Halloween series. Uh, I know he got a little more brutal in Rob Zombie's. Uh, movies, but as far as the original eight goes, and I'm talking Halloween's one through Resurrection, uh, he was pretty damn probably the most vicious, probably the most vicious kills ever in the Halloween series. So there you go. I've done parts four and five opinions on the Halloween mask. Now here's Halloween six. Hope you guys are enjoying the uh, Halloween mask uh, editions of uh, videos that I'm doing, going back and revisiting them and talking about them and giving you some trivia facts and some great knowledge on these masks. Again, 
Halloween Sixes mask is back to the basics. Uh, John Carl Buechler, his special effects company, came back with it uh, with with the back to the basics Shatner mold, and he did a good job. And what's cool is Buechler actually came back once again and did more of the mask moldings for Halloween H2O, which I will get back, we'll get into on the next Halloween mask review video that I will do next time. But uh, thank you everybody for uh, coming on to the video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you love this video, please subscribe to the channel. This has been the Maestro Megatron with another edition of the Halloween mask. Thoughts and uh, hates and likes of the Halloween Mask Edition. So we will see you next time. Maestro Megatron out of here. Have a good one, guys.